with a small but awesome and mighty studio audience. We're very excited they are here. And I love this next story. If you watch regularly, you probably know I have this enormous lemon tree of a huge orange tree. I love fruit trees, I love them. Uh, but my next guests know just how valuable all fruit trees can be, which is why they've set out a mission to plant as many as they can. They want everyone to have access to fresh, healthy food whenever they want, which is amazing. And that definitely makes them good neighbors. That's my favorite part. She says, <laughs> you had to say it too. Yeah. <laughs> From Fallen Fruit here in LA, let's say hi to Austin and David, y'all. Hey. So I love that you did this so good with me. Jesse appreciates it too. Um, so take us back to the beginning, Austin, about how this all kind of started. Okay, well in 2004, we were walking around our neighborhood in Silver Lake, Los Angeles, and we were just noticing that there was a lot of unpicked fruit going to waste along the sidewalks and alleys. Yeah. So um, we, as artists, we were thinking, what could we do to make an artwork about this? Right. Like, who, who owns this fruit? Or could we share it with people? Absolutely. It's going to waste. Right. Yeah. We decided to make a map of the fruit that existed on the, sort of, in public space, and as well as hanging over fences. Yeah. And then we put this map online, we discovered there was like 100, more than 100 fruit trees in our own neighborhood in Silver Lake. So we put it online and then like right away, people were excited about the idea that you could share fruit in this way. Because people generally wouldn't just walk up and think you're stealing from someone or something, yeah. Right, so it's actually yeah. really, really kind of uh, interesting to thing have, yeah. to, to kind of teach people that, you know, mm -hmm. this fruit that's hanging in public space, we could actually pick it and eat it. Yeah, in, in Los might Angeles. as well, it's just going to waste. That's right, yeah. and, there's, and, and you know, we have fruit like 12 years, or 12, 12 months, months out. of a year, yeah. yeah, 12 years too though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just 12, we only get 12 years of fruit. Um, no, but this, um, David, this expanded though, so y'all plant trees now too, right? Yeah, with the help of community, we planted thousands of fruit trees <laughs> in cities like Los Angeles, uh, Riverside, and we're just about to finish our new public fruit park for the city of San Diego. Oh, wow. Yeah. What a smart idea. Yeah. And then recently, we um, worked with LA State Historic Park, and we planted 32 orange trees there. Wow. And when we did that project, we walked around the neighborhood, and we talked with people, and we met them. And uh, what, we, what that ended up being was a 32-line poem where the base of the trees are are with the language of that community. It's a very cool project. Oh my gosh, that's so thoughtful. I've always wondered why, why the government doesn't take these properties, especially they have land that nobody's using. Why don't you just make a garden like for everybody and then people can come and get, anyway, that's just a thought. But, um, but also now you've combined all this tree planting into one giant map that you're referring to, right? It's called the Endless Orchard, is that what it's called? That's right, we, so we think of it as the largest public artwork in the world, it's a way that anybody anywhere could yeah. plant a fruit tree on say near the sidewalk and then map it on this shared map so it's a collaborative sharing orchard and a way to share so food smart. on the mar that exists in these sort of margins of public and private space it's such a smart idea yeah. and the map is genius because you. you let people know like where they can go um, so on top of all of this, David, you do community events to share the many ways people can also enjoy fruit, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. One of our favorite projects is Lemonade Stand. It's exactly like a kid's oh lemonade God, stand, but we it. don't use money. Yeah. So instead, we invite everyone, like the kids, but the parents, and then the person walking down the sidewalk. Everyone's invited to draw a picture of themselves onto a lemon, and then mm -hmm. we take a portrait of them with their lemon. And it's really interesting because you get to see sort of the innocence and joy of people. It creates like this community yeah. portrait, but just right out on the sidewalk. It's such. And a then you project. see the people like me who do stick figures, and then you see people that are actual artists. Uh huh. <laughs> and we love all. I'd of I'd be it. like boop boop boop, and be like so bad. <laughs> well, we love what you're doing, and Sprouts Farmers Market is known for offering the most delicious farm fresh fruits and veggies that nature has to offer. And when the Sprouts Healthy Communities Foundation heard about Fallen Fruit, which is the most genius name ever, by the way. They wanted to help, so they're going to donate ten thousand dollars. No! Yes. Oh my God! Yes. Thank you. Yes. That is so beautiful. Plant some trees with that, oh and, that and also fantastic. update oh, that map, so nice. like because. I just, like I said, I think it's really important what you're doing. I know it might seem like small to y'all, but it's a, it can make a huge impact, like environmentally, socially, like it's so cool. And bringing people together and connecting them, it's really cool. Thank you. Love Thank what you're you. doing. That is so beautiful. Yeah. That'll make such a big difference. Oh my God, good, all yeah. right.